Does that look like fun to you? Two more after this, but with fresh intros. Yeah, it's gonna be slit. We're, this is a hybrid board meeting, I think, because the first two board meetings were just like, what are we gonna do this week? And then the third board meeting was like, let's do this one specific thing. And I still think that's gotta be a better idea, right? Than other, like jumping around all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Tyler. I'm Ryan. And we're the guys at GCA Films, trying to make a living, making cool stuff, including the videos on this channel and uh, his Twitch stream. Yep. The link for which is in the description. This week, we're gonna make a cool Tarkov video. We already made it. We made a Tarkov video. You did. And it was good. It was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty happy about it. It's very good. So the ATEM records all the streams. And so we've been going through, I mean, you've been going through yeah. finding bits from the streams. And then I've like tried to organize them because it seems logical to make gameplay, like highlighty kind of videos, right? Yeah, and that's like, was the intent behind pulling all the clips. Yeah. But then we can't do anything without it being extra. Plus it's just kind of boring to just watch. I mean, not, not that against anybody who's doing that, but like, I feel like nobody really watches just montages of sweet shots, unless you're like really good. Which like, you're pretty good, but you're not like really good at like one game. Like if you were awesome at Siege, you were like the, you were like great at Siege, then people would be like, oh, look at all this crazy this guy's oh, doing see he's shooting all these people in the head. But like, most of mine would be just me dying. So I'm working on our first real, like highlight, stream highlight kind of video. So I guess, where I've gone here, um, Tarkov has been the big game recently. So I feel like the first one, you know, let's hit while the iron's hot. So we're gonna do Tarkov stuff. So first things first, we use the ATEM to record streams directly. And then uh, Ryan goes through them and like, uses the highlight tool on Twitch to go through them and look at like the marks and the clips and anything else that people did during the stream and he uses that to find clips and then those clips he gives me the time codes for and then I take the actual like raw footage and clip the clips based on the time code and then I save them in a folder these are all clips that we have so for like Tarkov I could search Tarkov, and these are all the Tarkov clips we have so far. So, I took all of those, and I put them here in this big old file, and I went through and like cleaned them up a little bit. Overall, it is a 33, a 33 minute and 31 second and 47 frames timeline, but there's spaces between them all, so we don't actually have that much footage, but it's, you know, it's a pretty good bit of footage. So now having cut through, I just watched them and then wrote down all of these things, which I'll try to get a good shot of for you. So that is where I wrote down things I noticed that like kept coming up and stuff like that. So given the production element and all the GCA films, filmy stuff, you know, everything we do has to be developed and produced, overproduced rather. I decided to go through and I'm gonna film some stuff in some really harsh lighting, but I need to come up with a narrative. So yeah, we had to come up, we had already had all the clips. And after a couple of days of trying to figure out what the conceit yeah. was gonna be. Probably. You know, I had pitched like a mad scientist experimenting on a guy kind of thing, and then. There was like talks of like being a Tarkovy. Yeah, I would crawl around character. in the backyard. And which, thank God, we didn't do that. Although I still think that one would have been I pretty hate funny. Going outside. But that would have been even better because nobody wants to be in Tarkov. I guess they still go to Tarkov, which is all part of the thing. In or out. But so I just went through and watched it, and kind of saw what came to mind, and what came to mind to me, especially based on some things that I've heard described. Um, I kind of think that it might be fun to do a um, like a PSA, like as the detective. So like I'll do the whole detective bit and then 
you know, light it really dramatically, really contrasty, dark room around me. I'm basically the only thing lit kind of a thing. And do like a PSA, uh, one of those classic like new dangerous trend ravaging the youth of America kind of a thing. And then the first of these basically being like a reasons why Tarkov is dangerous, but all of these people keep coming back to it. And then because I have 30 minutes of footage, I can use this art, the footage we already have to do like a follow up of like a, you know, like the, like the cool parent who's like, well, I know y'all are going to drink. So if you're going to drink, I'd rather you drink in the safety of our home you know, kind of a thing. So, like, if people are gonna play Tarkov, these are things that they need to remember. But keep with that kind of, like, I'm almost a little disappointed with you, like, authoritative, authoritative, like, parent vibe that I think, especially Detective Brock Rocket could really bring something to. So, at this stage, I'm gonna go through and basically, like, rewatch all the footage with the notes I've got here and try to come up with what kind of things serve as like lessons or you know things you should do if you're trying to play Targov and what kind of things serve as like a warning like why you shouldn't play Targov and then I'll take the shouldn't play Targov stuff I'll probably color code them uh, and then I'll send them into another timeline I'll start cutting those ti that timeline back and then either tonight or tomorrow I will use that stuff to start writing lines and then I'll figure out a way to shoot those elements of it tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have a nice, like, it'll be fairly scripted. I'm thinking maybe two or three camera angles. So then I can shoot that relatively quickly. Shoot it by the script, which will hopefully make it easier. Especially if I've already got the timeline cut down. I'll be able to just kind of like drag and drop. You know, it'll be a pretty easy paint by numbers kind of situation. And then if all that works out, it'll be done by Friday. So... That could be cool. We'll see. So, okay, so I went through it again and I watched all the things with those two video ideas in mind. And then I figured out figured out color labels. So, you see how these are yellow? These are yellow because I wanted to highlight them real quick. Um, but then I went through and like I decided green is gonna be my PSA bits. Purple, which is that color, will be for um, the lessons video, the second one, and then pink, if it applies to both. So now, having written ideas down, I'm gonna go back through. If it works for the PSA, I'm gonna make them green. If it works for the lessons, I'm gonna make them purple. If it works for both, I'm gonna make them pink. Start another timeline, start throwing stuff up in there. Probably do the yellow right off the bat, but yeah, that's where I am. Yo, so I went through, I've like grouped chunks up based on like pieces that would go together, and uh, in the middle of some of those pieces, I've got little talking points where I'll pop back in and then we'll pop back out. So that's where you see these these raised guys. So this is like a chunk. And then after this clip, I'll uh, pop in, say something real quick, and then pick it up there. So I went through and cut a bunch of stuff down real low. And then I grouped the chunks together. So there's a group, group, group. Good, 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 good. So I, I, did, I went counting. I'll put a counter because I wasn't counting, but it's that many chunks and then I grouped them all and then I went ahead and removed all the gaps between the chunks and uh, you know just to see where we're at and look at this number 519 can I zoom in on that 519 so let's say I have two minutes of commentary to put around it that's what a seven minute video maybe eight I'll conservatively say eight that's not bad. I was expecting this to be much longer and have to like really remove some stuff. This is good news. I might be writing soon. All right, so I came back and so I've got these chunks, right? And I went through, you know, just watching a chunk, filling in gaps, and I wrote this script, which is too long as per usual, but I'm gonna, you know, read it a couple times. It's still 5.30. Just now starting to get dark, so I got plenty of time. Oh, and I also did the whole alien isolation soundboard trick of just Googling the bomb, bomb that plays when you die in that game. And I screen captured it, so I'm gonna turn that into an MV3 and use that at the end. So yeah, things are working all right. So yeah, we ended up 
uh, I took all the Tarkov clips we had separated by that point and I figured out there was a lot of shit that you could make jokes about how you shouldn't do it. Cause like Tarkov looks like a shit. And that seems like the running joke. Like I don't really know anything about Tarkov, but people who are playing Tarkov, seems like the running joke is how bad that game is. You know what I mean? Like it's like brutal, like f people up and shit. And they're like, what? It's like hearing people talk about playing Warzone. Yeah. They're like, hey, how would Warzone go? And they'd be like, it sucked. It's game's Warzone, stupid. Yeah. Why, why does that anyone game? play that? And then they play it anyway. <laughs> so I did the whole f***ing PSA thing. And it went pretty well. I'm trying to think of what needs to be talked about in the board meeting based on footage that was filmed. I guess I just started filming stuff because we might as well to put it in a thing. So you gotta like go through the clips. Already talked about. Cut down you, the clips. Put them on the timeline. Then figure it out. I filmed it. Figure I think, out the conceit. I think I filmed some stuff about filming it. So I'm this up by now, and I, I doubt you can see it, but there's my monitor. Which, you know, you'll be able to see it on the actual finished product, but... So, here I am. My little thing. I need to set the microphone up still, but I've got this one, which there's no way in hell you can see it. I got that one light, just barely, I got the barn doors on it. Something fierce, let me... See that, the barn doors. So, uh, I'm gonna set the microphone up as close as I can, between here and that. And then yeah, I'm good to film this stuff. All right, it is 3.05 in the morning. Um, I got kind of stalled because I decided to film stuff after everybody went to bed because you know, they were loud and stuff. Uh, I think I've got an edit finished. So it is a bit longer than I was hoping for. It was seven minutes and 30 seconds, but maybe it's not that bad. But I'm gonna render this real quick, watch it one more time. And then assuming nothing detrimental is noticed, go to bed. So mission success. If I didn't and we do a part two, because I do think we have enough for a part two, like already. And I think we can kind of like move forward with the whole PSA idea. I don't exactly know what that would look like, mm -hmm. but I feel like I could build on the first one, you know, whatever we decided to do for the second one. Yeah. So if I didn't film anything while I was filming it, cause it was late and I may have forgotten, I'll film some stuff when we film the, the talking point of part two. Yeah. Tarkov day. That's what I'm focusing on today. I mean, it's not all I'm focusing on. I'm gonna do a few things, honestly, but for now, Tarkov. Yesterday, I had a wonderful opportunity to film Ryan while he very painstakingly went through a ton of Tarkov footage from the last like week or so to be able to throw in the mix for this next Tarkov video. And like, as I'm pro probably already said, the first Tarkov thing was kind of tongue in cheek. You know, the whole PSA thing of it. This one, I wanna do a little bit more of like, like it's still gonna be goofy, like there's still gonna be jokes and stuff, but I want it to be more of like actual game information and like how you should play and stuff like that. And I don't know how this game works. So he went through and very painstakingly not only found a bunch of clips, but then organized them nicely in this timeline here and did that for like three hours, specifically just on this computer. That was after he went through the clips and like found the time codes and all that stuff that we do for highlighting videos, which you can find, yeah, which you can find, bink, up top in our first do the thing. But yeah, I had a great opportunity to film him while he sat here for like three hours and did that and I forgot. So now I'm just gonna go through it and talk about it. So here's our timeline and he split it up into sections like these are epic jokes, good old epic smiles. Uh, this is being overly cautious. This is friendly fire communication, you know, stuff like that. And then I'm gonna kind of go through there and see if I have any kind of preliminary thoughts on how to like pull that all together for like a structure and stuff. The actual scripting and really nailing down the idea is probably gonna come tomorrow because I don't really know how this game works. And I, I feel like especially the way he already organized some of these clips, like I know Ryan's kind of got an idea for different points we can hit over the course of the video. So yeah, we're gonna go through that tomorrow, I would imagine. So yeah, this is me catching up, catching up on all that because I wasn't filming last night like I should have been when he was painstakingly coming through all this. Oh, you're too strong. Jesus Christ. Unrelento ripped the doorknob off. So now we're trapped in here. But yeah, I wasn't paying attention because I was watching the Handmade Chrono Show, which is a great show, by the way. And we were on it a couple weeks back. You should check it out. They got fascinating stream 
Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'll put a link to our video in the description. It's great. And then I'm gonna go see how badly Unrelento fucked up our front door. It's not my fault. All right. This thing is dusty. So we've gone through today and took all of the like colored chunks that we had already separated for this stuff. Well, I guess first things first, we separated four bits to put in the beginning. Those four. And then we've got our chunks. And then we went through each individual chunk and figured out good groupings for things, as well as like what kind of stuff we could say in between. So, done that. And now here, Got the script. Wow, that's close up, but just bear with me here. So I'm gonna go through and write the script of stuff to say. Here's all our clips. Once I've got that written up, we'll film it tonight when it's nice and dark. I mean, it's already nice and dark, but like we'll film it tonight. This is probably really loud. Whatever, that's where we are. So I'm filming part two now, okay? I'm starting with the close ups because uh, I think I'm gonna leave the lights and everything up. So let's show the setup. So I've got, I'm here. In the chair. And then I've got camera here, microphone directly next to me. That's what the shot looks like. And then I've got the light pointing straight down at me. So that way I got it cut off with barn doors so it hits this side of my face, but then really casts a shadow on this side. So that looks cool. And then for right now, I've got my blue back backlight. I got my boo blue black blue backlight on here, projecting all across that wall, uh, which I'll move to over here to bounce off this wall for the other angle. But for now, it's going over there. I think I'm good to go, I think. Okay, I uh, just went through today, cut down all the lines I ran last night based on the script and popped them into the little places. Now it's like 10 minutes long and I think it's all right. So yeah, and that's Tarkov, yeah. which is a good thing, and we're gonna make more of them, and we're gonna make them for other games. We did Tarkov, because that was the one that's fresh right now, but we've got a bunch of footage from a bunch of other games. Oh yeah. So like, when the new world's coming out in f four months. By that point, we probably will have made a few, and we'll be able to, <laughs> to really hit the ground running on that guy. Right out of the gate. We gotta figure out. Two weeks in on New punchy. World, and we're, yeah. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. Amazon. So keep an eye out on that. Usually I go, so hopefully that all went well, or goes well. Hopefully all like, that goes well. We, it went well. Oh man, hopefully all that went well. Hopefully all that went well. And it did. All right, so yeah, so that went good. So. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Hit that bell, Thanks. like, subscribe, check us out for other stuff. Cause you're gonna make more and stuff. watch the stream that's where all the stuff is before it gets to him so let's end this board meeting by moving on to the next board meeting board meeting i hope this is in focus by the way the osmo pocket old ozzy must have heard us talking about the fact that we were getting this one because that whole last board meeting, like, there's so many things that are out of focus, and how annoying is that? My allergies are kicking my ass today. That's what I get for leaving the house. You left, when did you leave the house? Like nine. Oh, yeah, you left the house today, didn't you? Yeah. It was neat. Bong, bong. Yeah.